Hi, this is Tracy Kite with Georgia Highlands College, and these are the college algebra videos. Today's topic is rate of change. Linear functions have a constant rate of change known as the slope. For nonlinear functions, we can find the average rate of change on a given interval of the domain using the same formula, change in y over change in x also known as delta y over delta x. So let's look at our first example. Find the average rate of change for the function on the given interval 1 to b. What we have to know is that the given interval tells us x1 and x2. We're going to first use x2 to find y2. We substitute in b for x and this gives us 4b squared minus 3. Next we use x sub 1, which is 1, to find y sub 1. So 4 times 1 squared minus 3, which is 4 minus 3, or 1. So our two points are 1, 1, and b, 4, b squared, minus 3. Now we want to take that and apply it. Again, as a reminder, this first point now is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. The formula tells us to find the change in y, which is y sub 2, 4, b squared minus 3 minus y sub 1, which is 1, all over x2 minus x1. When we simplify that, we get 4 b squared minus 4 over b minus 1. I see that we have a greatest common factor in the numerator, so we factor out a 4. This leaves us with b squared minus 1, and that's still over b minus 1. Now I see that b squared minus 1 is a difference of two perfect squares, which factors to b plus 1, b minus 1, all over b minus 1. The b minus 1's reduce to a 1, leaving us with 4b plus 1. But we do have to put a disclaimer out to the side. We have to say that b cannot equal 1, because if b equals 1, it would give us a 0 in the denominator, which means that the function would not exist at that point. Let's look at another example. Find the average rate of change for the given function on the interval x to x plus h. This is x1, x2. We're going to use x sub 2 first to find y sub 2. So we plug in x plus h squared plus 7. To find x plus h squared, we use the distributive property or FOIL and that gives us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. We bring down the plus 7. Then we distribute the 3 to get 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus 7. This is y sub 2. Now let's find y sub 1. When we plug in x, we find that we're left with the same function that we began with. So this is y sub 1. Now that we have our two points, we can substitute them into the formula to find the average rate of change. So we are given x1, y1, 
x2, y2. So we have 3x squared plus 6xh plus h squared plus 7 y sub 2 minus y sub 1, 3x squared plus 7, all over x plus h minus x. Next, we want to combine our like terms. So we have 3x squared minus 3x squared and 7 minus 7. On the bottom, I see the x minus x, and this leaves us with 6xh plus h squared all over h. I factor out the GCF of an h, which leaves me with 6x plus h, all over h. The h is reduced to a 1, leaving us with 6x plus h. Again, we have to write the disclaimer that h cannot equal 0 since it's in the denominator. So the average rate of change for this one is 6x plus h, where h does not equal 0. I hope this helps with rate of change. Join us again for our next topic tomorrow.